Hey, how have you been? So, I'm doing a collab with all my gaudy girls. So, Gwynny, Autumn, Yoda, and Winnie. And we're doing our best and worst purchases for 2021. So, um, I only have like six things, and I'm just going to go back and forth between best and worst. So, we're going to start off with this beauty right here. This is one of my best purchases for 2021. This is something I've wanted for years. And... It's the Versace belt from the De La Mer collection. It's got the De La Mer print on one side and it's reversible and it's black on the other. So this is the perfect belt because it has a black side for my black outfits and a colorful side for my colorful outfits because I'm bipolar, uh, manic bipolar, and some days I like to wear all black and some days I like to wear be really bright and colorful. So this is the perfect belt for me. The only thing that I don't like is uh, she's always kind of looking at the ground and this is a really heavy belt buckle. Um, so I guess that's why she's always looking at the ground, but really beautiful. I love the gold plating on that, it's so pretty. And then same brand, Versace. Here's a worst purchase for 2021. And I hesitate to call it a worst purchase because I still love it and wear it. But um, so since luxury shirts are so expensive, I liked the idea of it having embroidery rather than like something um printed on there i would like uh i would like it if it was like screen printed maybe is that where it's not like a separate layer from the t-shirt if they'd like dyed the pattern on the shirt i think i would like it better because um the heavy embroidery on this very thin t-shirt um it fits weird like the shoulders will ride up and it looks really awkward and then my necklaces will like poke down behind this, like the the embroidery will like come up and my necklace will be like sitting behind it. It's just very weird. Um, they should have done a thicker t-shirt to do this heavy embroidery, but I do love the embroidery on here and I, I still wear this. It still looks nice with a blazer and then you can't tell that it's shaped funny, but it's a really thin, soft cotton. Uh, so I feel bad calling it a worse purchase, but I'm, I'm maybe would have considered a different option if I had known. Uh, so let's do a best. Um, and this wasn't a purchase, this was a gift, but I absolutely love this little thing. Uh, it's just to put your keys in to protect like your phone from getting scratched up by your keys. And it's got my initials on it. I love this raspberry color. Um, it's a little cumbersome to use, but I've gotten used to it. And it just makes me so happy every time I pull it out. It's the cutest takes your ugly little set of keys and makes them look luxurious. Uh, and then for a worse purchase, um, I've been kind of disappointed in this multiple wallet because um, from sitting on it, it has caused the wax to wear away right here. I don't know if you can see that, but the wax is missing on the corners of these of the wallet and this is not even a year old, so that's kind of disappointing. Uh, but I still like to pull this out. I feel really fancy every time I pull it out. For a worse purchase, uh, these Doc Martin boots. Um, and I I don't have a lot of worse purchases to show you because I tend to just get rid of things when they don't work for me. But I wanted these for so long, and they are really fabulous. Um, and they're my only platform shoes, so I'm not willing to let them go because I will wear them once in a blue moon um, and look... I think really cool in like an all black outfit, um, but they're just so uncomfortable um, to wear. So definitely I never wear these if I know I have to walk for very long, but if I can just like walk into a place and sit down, they're those kind of shoes. They're like my ha high heels. <laughs> uh, and then for a best purchase, this is my last best purchase I brought in here. Uh, my coach pillow tabby. Um, and this is the size 26. And then a, a worse purchase, I would say, was the 18. I bought the Pillow Tabby 18, um, which was a $400 bag, and it was too small. It barely fit my phone, so it was a struggle to get my phone in and out, and then it could only hold like one, one or two things aside from that, so it irritated me. And this actually has like very small capacity, and I've seen people stuff them to death, but see how mine's straight across the top? I don't, I don't like how it, uh, it pulls down the top when you stuff them to death. So, um, I still, I don't put a lot of stuff in here and I do prefer bags with like larger capacity that look smaller. Um, but this color is to die for. My sister said it looked like Play-Doh and I thought that was a perfect description of it. Um, 
and I still wear this a lot. It's a, it's a delicate leather. Like I wore it in the rain one day and I got some spotting. So I'm definitely more careful with this bag than I am with my other bags. Uh, another best purchase. I think this is the last thing and then I'll let you guys go. Uh, my Brita filter, because I used to drink bottled water all the time because I don't like the taste of tap water. I haven't tried it in New York City yet, but it's fabulous because um, I love water now. And I didn't know that I loved water. I just didn't like tap waters. Uh, I just got a new filter today. They last for months. Uh, and it's only like 16 bucks or something like that for the filter. So yeah, I love you guys. Thanks for coming to see me. Go check out all my girlfriends. I'll link their videos down below. Um, you probably saw their videos already if you're watching mine. But um, I love you guys so much. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!